Welcome back to the channel. This is uh, Bill and Relax and today I'm going to be doing a Metal Bill L Strike Gundam unboxing video. Now this is uh, quite a special one for me because this is actually my first Metal Bill. Um, the reason why I got this is because I got a collection, a little collection of the L Strike Gundam. Uh, in particular if I can try to get the Perfect Strike Gundam add-ons to make it, I'll, I'll do so, but um, I'm not sure if I can do it th this one. But let's um, take a look and see what we got. So this is the side of the box. Turn upside down this way. Hmm. It's not alive well. Really. Now the back of the box tells you a little bit more about it. It's Got a few nice poses. Well, the iconic poses, the kneeling down to show to show up his articulation, his fight mode, and there's some of the new ones that I've never seen before, even in a perfect way. Well, going back to the fun art, there's another pose of his fight mode. So let's open it, shall we? Using my trusty insecto knife. Always put the cover back when you're done. Uh, careful. Box number one. And number two. First thing I say is the low instruction manual. The same cover as the back before. Hmm, I can see there are also some new features that we never had before, such as the lowering of the thruster to, to reveal the connection point to the L strike. It's usually on the master grade which I'm going to compare on the next video is that the there's a, always a hole in the back and then the thruster will be, might be, be lower but in this one it seems the thruster is up there and then in order to reveal the hole you will lower it so it will, it will be a very nice touch more instruction on how to connect the L strike to the base The beam saber attachment, of course. That's and then the uh, almost neither, which I think for the metal build is definitely got the feature of putting the almost neither inside the size good armor. So, all right, let's take a look at the actual product. Well, I can tell this is really packed nicely. Yeah, I ordered this directly from Japan, by the way, so... That's why it has to be packed very nicely. Lower the camera so anyone can see. And voila, I can notice the first time handling this is it is definitely a lot heavier than the master gray, and even more so than the perfect gray. It feels like it weighed at least three pounds to me. 
the joints are very stiff. Well, the first thing I noticed is that the uh, fingers are very decal. I'm sure those who have metal build already knows that, but I'm not, this is my first one, so I'm taking everything as a surprise. Everything's painted. One thing I wish it has is that LED gimmick, which I saw in the other metal build as well, but um... And for this one, I actually look it up, and even the Mosho has the LED, but I guess there's different different style they have. This one is a Bandai's take on the Metal Bill L Strike. And I'm, and I'm fine with that, because you have a battery, then you have to change it. And it causes all sorts of inconvenience as well. You have a lot of wires that's extruding out from the back, or from the clutch. So far, the joints are really stiff. Hmm, I wanted to have the almost night in it. Oop, nope. So something's never changed, it still pops out. Let's put it back. Well, I'm just gonna save the reveal for the next video. This one just gonna unbox all the products that's inside. Let's just tape this one. Oop. So the almost nighters is actually in here. That's the one the same thing. One of the things that I'm actually looking for is the shield. Which unfortunately I thought it was completely die cat, but obviously it's actually pretty light. It seems to be made of plastic, but that's okay. If it's a die cast shield it'll be tougher for the arm of the strike to hold it. And here we have the stand. The player was told that for metal build is assemble, comes assemble, you still have to do some of the assembly yourself. So, so I want to put the beam saber handles here before I lose it. What trusters? So those are them. Those are the things you have to assemble yourself. Well, don't think I need instruction to figure that out. So there, there are some die cast part, but but most of it I can tell because of the weight um, goes into the base strike on them. The L strike pack is mostly plastic, unfortunately. I can tell that the connection point. I can actually see a couple of screws here. All the all the connection points are die cast metal, but as for the other components, it's not. So, well, I think I should better look at instruction manual before I. But I'm pretty sure it goes in like that. But whether or not force it. So it comes with four pairs of hands with the ones that, including the one that's on the straight, that will make five pairs of hands. And we have open hands, we have closed hands that are holding the, the power of the beam sabers. And then we have two hands, probably the trick of, uh, I'm guessing it's the hmm, this could be the beam saber hands and I don't I guess this is just a close fist because the other one looks like a one that's holding for the beam rifle 
and then the open hands are just for posing in general and then they have no articulation whatsoever and another interesting thing I noticed that they give you a spare weave fin I guess just in case you break one of them I'd be have to look at the instruction manual because I can't tell there's any difference at all. It looks like just uh, pure spare. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, it looks like the exact same thing. So I guess it's just in case you break one of the Wii friends, you still have another. Mm, very thoughtful Bandai. And then another connecting point. Hmm, have to figure out what that one is. So it seems that the connection point are very straightforward. This one has only like a T and the hole is a T shape, so it's a direct connection. So when it when you first unbox the figure it comes already the whole exposed but I'm sure, yep, as the instruction manual that I crimped briefly you can move this, then that's one of the new gimmicks that's a very nice touch, it's not, it's not like they took the Master Grade and just put in die cast frame and called it metal build, they actually changed the design I can tell that the front chest is more sticking out to be honest I like the Master Grade chest a little bit better because I think this is a little bit exaggerated but that's my taste so last but not least gotta look at the third one let's make some room so you're back in the background So the third one has, besides the action stand, it comes with two beam sabers, which coming from which I put in the L backpack earlier. Well, this one definitely don't need instruction to figure that out. It just plugs in perfectly. None of these are die cast metal parts. The the light the beam saber handle is completely plastic. Now looking at this stand, there's nothing special since as I mentioned there's no LED gimmick, so it's just uh, basically hot plastic. Or ABS plastic I'm guessing. You got the two attachments, which is typical. Has the adjustment. You gotta mount it right here. Oh, I, I actually missed that. There's a queer connection part. Drop another queer connection. The beam rifle, it feels like plastic to me again too. Um, thought maybe some of the silver piece are, but no. That's just plastic. But you can't deny that the details are superb because usually you get the master card, you have to do all the detailing yourself. And this one comes with a nice set of colors. In which case the the silver, the gold. It's kinda like a matte finish. You wanna make sure I got a Of course, the 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 um, magazine can fold up. Back, same thing. 
And since it's got no, no LED gimmick, it's basically just a little hole that doesn't go all the way. So, that does for the unboxing, and on, again on the next video, I will be taking a closer look and do some comparisons. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.